Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense. Hope you're doing well. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about the fragrance that has annoyed me the most for the last few months. Like, it has driven me insane, legitimately. Detour Rouge from All Haramain. You may remember Detour Noir, the brother or sister or whatever to Detour Rouge. This one is a clone of Parfums de Marly Layton, and it's a really, really good one for the price, other than the bottle, which is friggin' hideous, so ugly. So Detour Noir, awesome Layton clone, fantastic cheap clone. What you may not know is at the exact same time as I made that purchase, I purchased this. And like I said, it has driven me insane. And in today's video, I'll tell you why. And also be doing a little giveaway. So let's jump into it. Let's check this out. So the reason that I'm having the giveaway is because fragrancebuy.ca sent me this bottle of Detour Rouge, but I already own Detour Rouge. They sent this to me and told me that they were gonna be running a special a buy one, get one half off of Detour Rouge and Detour Noir and wanted to see what I thought about this one. Anyway, that code is D2NOIR. It runs for one week from today. So use that code D2NOIR if you wanna buy one of Detour Rouge, one of Detour Noir, or two of Detour Noir, or two of Detour Rouge. It's buy one, get one half off, however you wanna mix and match these. But anyway, I have both of these linked in the description below in case you wanna check them out. Of course, fragrancebuy.ca, an awesome discounter. They have fragrances at great prices, indie, niche, designer, you know the drill. Links in the description. So I guess let's go ahead and uh, check out the presentation first. After that, I'll break the fragrance down, let you know what it's a clone of, let you know if it's any good and all that good stuff. And we'll do the giveaway as well. So presentation time. So here we have the box. You have the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, the size, the concentration on the front there. It's an eau de parfum. On the sides, it just says Detour. Up top, it says Haramain. Uh, on the back is the same thing as the front. And on the bottom, you'll find your ingredients and your batch code. And here is the bottle. Looks the same as the Detour Noir bottle. Very ugly, very cheap looking. You have the name of the house, the name of the fragrance right on the front there. On the bottom, it just says All Haramain, and then the cap clicks into place and weighs nothing and feels cheap. And the atomizer looks pretty bad too. Let's go ahead and waste a couple sprays. It's actually not too bad. Okay. Detour Rouge, let's talk about it. This fragrance is not currently on Fragrantica. If you go to Parfumo, they do have it, but they have no notes listed, no reviews, nothing like that. As I said, I got this in the same time as Detour Noir. I ordered them together and this one, before I got it in, before I smelled it, I was pretty sure, as I'm sure you would think as well, that Detour Rouge would be a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. That just makes sense. And yet, if you think that, you would be wrong. It does not smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. The issue that I've had with this since I got it in, the issue that has plagued me is that when I spray this on, I know immediately I've smelled that before. That is a scent profile that I know I've put my nose to many, many, many times. And yet, what the F is it? This is the number one most frustrating thing when it comes to fragrances. When you have something and you smell it, something that you're smelling for the first time, and you realize, oh yeah, I've smelled that before, and you start going through like the mental Rolodex and you can't for the life of you figure out what it is. So I guess what I'll do is I'll break down this fragrance, how it smells to me, and then show you the fragrances that I compared it to and what I think it smells most similar to. Though it's not really a one-to-one -one clone of anything that I've found so far. It is like a, an amalgamation of other fragrances put together, but it does have stronger similarities to one fragrance than I think any of the others that I've compared it to. Now they do have a note breakdown on All Haramain's website for this fragrance. And normally you would say, oh, okay, well that's very obviously the note breakdown because that is the company's website and those are the notes they're showing you. But All Haramain has a bad habit of putting up random notes that don't smell at all like the fragrance. So even though they put those notes up there, I still don't trust it. When you first spray this on, it's sweet, it's spicy, actually quite sweet. I do pick up what smells like cardamom, maybe a little bit of cinnamon in there, touch of citrus that goes away very quickly, maybe faint touch of lavender, and then a good amount of like a tonka vanilla 
undertone. And as the fragrance dries down, that's really what's gonna carry the scent, is that tonka that smells a bit like vanilla, like a tonka vanilla mix. Maybe you get a, a faint waft of like woodiness underneath it, but ultimately it's gonna be mainly about that warm sweetness. Maybe you could convince me that there's like a, a slight honey tinge to it or something like that, but mainly tonka. So that sounds pretty simplistic, and really once it changes out of the opening into the mid slash dry down portion, it stays pretty much the same the rest of the way through. But when you consider the price here, really cheap, it smells very nice. The quality's good, just like you would expect if you've smelled Detour Noir. The quality is similar, though the scents are different, quite different. So what does this smell like? Well, I compared it to a number of different fragrances. Let's run through those. I did see some people said that it smelled like Halloween Man X. It doesn't to me. It doesn't smell like Halloween Man X. It's missing a lot of the notes, a lot of the things that make Halloween Man X, Halloween Man X, those are not here. Like that roast coffee, none of that. It's, it's non-existent, it's not in here. Then I compared it to this one, Dunhill Racing Red which I'm not really a fan of. Both of these are red though, right? Red, red, give it a shot. Uh, no, it's not these either, not too close. Then we started to get onto something, started to get a little bit closer. Versace Arrows Flame. Now I can tell you, when I first smelled this, I thought, man, that is, it's definitely a designer fragrance and it's definitely something heavy on the Tonka. The, the red coloration here, obviously Rouge Arrows Flame, led me to check this one out, but I gotta say they're not really that close because there's a lot missing from this that you find in here. So when you spray this one on, you're gonna get that Kinoto, you're gonna get that black pepper, you're gonna get that citrus that has a real zing to it. None of that is in here. So you don't get any of that, that kind of green around the edges with Detour Rouge. You don't get that pepper, the citrus in here. It fades away pretty quickly. It doesn't really make itself known the same way that it does here in Arrow's Flame. And you would say, well, maybe as it dries down, they get closer, right? They don't because the pepper still lingers here. It still sticks around. And this is more focused almost solely on that vanilla tonka and, and faint little hint of woodiness underneath it all. So these two really don't smell super close. These two, you can maybe smell them side by side and be like, yeah, they're, they're a little bit similar, but there are enough differences there where when I smell this, I don't automatically think, oh, that's Arrow's Flame and you can get this instead of this. I don't think so. So then I was like, well, maybe it's more like Arrow's Eau de Parfum because you take that pepper out, you take that Kinoto out and you have a little bit of a, a denser fragrance, a little bit of a creamier sweetness to it. So maybe Eros Eau de Parfum. But these weren't really super close either. They, they were a little bit closer at times because you didn't pick up that pepper coming through in here like you do in Eros Flame, but still not close enough for me. So that will lead us to the fragrance that I think it smells closest to, but it's still not exactly this fragrance. But I do think if you were looking for a cheap alternative to this fragrance, that this one may be the first place that I would tell you to look. It's Allurum Sport O Extreme. So with Allurum Sport O Extreme, you don't have as much of a pronounced uh, spiciness to it. It has that creamy, sweet tonka with almost a vanilla feel to it. And the citrus in here comes across less zingy, less sharp, less bright as compared to Eros Flame Citrus. And so these end up actually working together a little bit closer for me. And especially once you work through the opening and you get into the dry down, this gets close enough to this that my wife couldn't tell the difference. The Chanel obviously is gonna have more nuances, more changes, more things going on, more depth, more richness, more quality overall. It's the better fragrance, let's be honest here. But Detour Rouge is really solid for the price because it's very inexpensive and it's gonna get you pretty close, especially in the dry down to Lorem Sport Oh, extreme. At least for me, it seems closer to that than Arrow's Flame. And I honestly don't think it's really that close when you spray them on side by side. The differences here are pretty pronounced over Detour Rouge. So even though I think to this point, most people have been in agreement that this is an alternative to this, for me, this is more an alternative to this. That said, some people would say Eros Flame and Allurum Sport O Extreme are pretty similar to each other. So take it for what it's worth. It's just, to me, it's closer to the Chanel. And in case I haven't been clear enough, I do think this is a really nice fragrance, really nice for the price, the quality is good. Overall though, Detour Noir is still better. Like if I could have only one of these, it's this one, 
it ain't close. Another good thing about Detour Rouge is the performance. It's actually really good off my skin. Lasts for a long time, above average longevity, projection is solid as well. So not one of those cheap clones for me that has crap performance. So that's a big plus. In terms of seasons, for me, probably more spring, fall, maybe winter as well. I'd reach for something else during summer. Like I think Arrow's Flame would work much better in summer than this one because of that opening in mid. It's a little bit livelier, a little bit, like I said before, zestier. This one is warm, sweet, spicy, and then settles into that, that Tonka pretty early on. So unless you wanna wear an above average performing, very sweet fragrance in the middle of summer, uh, this one probably wouldn't work during that season, but the other ones will. As far as daytime or nighttime use, I think either one. So I think as of right now, those are the only Detour fragrances, Rouge and Noir, but I'll keep my eyes open if any more pop up because they seem to be really nice quality for the price other than the presentation, which is pretty rough. Wrap it up to say, if you're looking for a quality alternative to this fragrance, focusing in on that Tonka and that sweetness and you don't wanna pay much money, boom. So I didn't put giveaway in the title of the video because in case you guys haven't noticed, YouTube has a problem with scammer accounts. So let me make this really clear, guys. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention. I am not going to respond to comments on this video telling you that you won anything. So if you get a comment from somebody saying, hey, you won, message me on Telegram or something. That's not me, that's a scammer, okay? If you wanna be entered to win, it's this bottle here of Detour Rouge. It's still sealed. You have to like the video, be subscribed to the channel if you're not, usual stuff. And in order to be entered, just let me know, do you like Arrow's Flame more? Or do you like Alorum Sport O Extreme more? All you gotta do, okay? In about 10 days, I'll pick a winner with Random Comment Picker. I'll post the winner up on the community tab of the YouTube channel. If you're subscribed, you should see that when you go onto YouTube, it'll have my name and all that stuff on there. If you're the winner, just hit me up. I'll ship it out to you. That's it. All right, guys, I'm gonna head out of here. Thank you for hanging with me here today. Thank you for your support. If you smelled that one, let me know what you think. I'm out of here. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another friggin' video. See you later.